Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. This problem was posted to Mumsnet. The son picked it up and said, This primary school kid's math homework has left Mums baffled, so can you solve it? The Daily Mail writes, Ridiculous math problem intended for primary students leaves parents baffled and no one can agree on an answer. So what was the problem? On a coast, there are three lighthouses. The first light shines for three seconds, then is off for three seconds. The second light shines for four seconds, then is off for four seconds. The third light shines for five seconds, then is off for five seconds. All three lights have just come on together. Part 1. When is the first time all three lights will be off at the same time? Part 2. When is the next time all three lights will come on together at the same moment? Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. One way to solve the first problem is to think visually. Let's have the lighthouses A, B, and C, and let's imagine a timeline starting at 0 seconds and going forward. Here's how the three lighthouses will be on and off. The first lighthouse changes every 3 seconds, the second lighthouse changes every 4 seconds, and the third lighthouse changes every 5 seconds. Now when will all three lighthouses be off at the same time? It's right here. Just after 5 seconds, light C has just turned off and lights A and B are also off. So the answer is they're all off just after 5 seconds. Now the second problem is a little bit more complicated. When will all three lights come on together at the same moment? Well notice that the first light turns on every 6 seconds. It's on at second 0, then at second 6, 12, 18, and so on. The next lighthouse cycles every 8 seconds. It comes on at the seconds 0, 8, 16, 24, and so on. The third lighthouse turns on at 0 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and so on, every 10 seconds. So they will all turn on together at the least common multiple of the numbers 6, 8, and 10. We can solve for the least common multiple by considering the prime factorization of each number. 6 is equal to 2 times 3, 8 is equal to 2 cubed, and 10 is equal to 2 times 5. So we end up with the prime factors of 2 cubed and 3 and 5, and we multiply those together and we get 120 seconds. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. If you have a math topic, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and you can catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.